But Dino, I don't know. Wes, to live in fear is not to live at all. License to drive. So many years ago, I think I was uh, 16, 16 and a half in there. Um, I got the picture just by phone call. They just called, and, and um, I think Corey Feldman already auditioned for Les Anderson, my part. And uh, I'm not sure if he got it. I'm not sure if they said, yeah, you know, you're the dude, but we have to just do our routine here and make our calls. And uh, I guess I, I got a phone call. My manager got a phone call, my agent, whoever, and they asked if I'd be interested in this role. And I remember my mom met with John Davis, the executive producer, and they went to the Beverly Hilton Hotel, whatever, wherever, and sat by the pool, talked, negotiated my deal, and it was over. An innocent girl, a harmless drive. What could possibly go wrong? What appealed to me about the movie was the, the script that's so many elements of comedy, black comedy. <laughs> It was just, it was a riot to read, you know, and then you're you're done reading it, and you're saying, how are they gonna do all this? I mean, yeah, it could be funny, and I can have to live, and I'm, you know, I do the best I can do, but there's too much, it's just too much. <laughs> it intrigued me too, because it was a big budget movie, you know, it was 20th Century Fox, some great people in it. John Davis, Andy Licht, and Jeff Mueller. You know, the three producers on it, and, you know, the cast, myself, Corey Feldman. Corey's a great guy. Uh, we've been friends... We've been friends since, uh, I think, I'm about 15. Maybe a little younger, 14 and a half, 15, something like that. He's a good partner to, to work with on set. He's got a good soul. He's got a great heart. When we were really, really working together, just him and I, him and I, him and I, him and I, back to back movies, you know, when the director or the first AD or wardrobe or hair, whoever would say, Corey, we would know which Corey they were saying, if our backs were turned, and that got a little eerie. You know, it was Corey, and, but yeah, what's up? You know, and he'd still be doing his thing. If he knew it was him, I'd be doing. So that's how together it was for us. We had a pretty newcomer introducing Heather Graham. She was cool. Let's go. She was, uh, I'm pretty sure it was her first movie. Exchanging Do you want to dance? Gorgeous, drop dead, very friendly human being. I mean, you know, we had uh, the kissing scene to do, and I actually, I, had, I caught mono somehow, and she didn't want to kiss me, and I understood it, you know? But, you know, we were under. We're under the gun, we have to do what we had to do, so I, I go, Heather, I'm gonna go take my medicine, I'll be right back. So I went and came back, I have my medicine, we're dancing on the car, she's supposed to be drunk, and she leans this kiss into me, and so we go at it. And uh, I don't know what happened, but we had to reshoot on, on, on a stage. I just remember her getting, she was not happy about the mono situation, me having to kiss her, but I was like, listen, it's not my fault, you know? Kiss her was great. I mean, she's a good kisser, you know. But the other scenes we had too were a lot of fun. You know, the when she was in the trunk of the car. I don't think that this is such a good idea, okay? All the jokes that are going around. I got her Mercedes in the back of a caddy. Wow. Did you ever imagine in all your life that you would see a Mercedes fit inside the trunk of a Cadillac? Carol Kane was really cool. She always walked around with uh, a cigarette filter because she doesn't smoke anymore, so she needs something in her hand or whatever. She's absolutely brilliant. I mean, she's really, really brilliant. She's fun, fun, fun. For your information, this is exactly what I ate when I was pregnant with all of you. You turned out okay. You know, you spend one minute with her, you know, 45 seconds in a minute, you're cracking up, you know, and she's got the cutest voice. You know, she's got the cutest look. And then if you pair Carol Kane up with Richard Masser, who played my father... You are damn lucky your mother didn't go into labor tonight. Oh, Mary, I am in labor! Damn lucky! What? He's brilliant, too. I mean, and he's hilarious. So these two together, it was great. And I really liked Richard Masser, too. I liked working with him. I mean, he's a great guy.
Everyone became good friends with everyone. Come on, what could be wrong with Greg Beeman, he was a first time director. He walked into his office and he was sitting there eating his Caesar salad with his hands, mixing it up with his hands. This was like a great story way back when. Um, and just was like, nice to meet you. And he's like, uh huh, I don't think so. And I'm like, what's up, man? And he was totally cool. And uh, once I met him and he gave me like a 10 minute thing in his, uh, this is what we're doing and I'm happy you're here. And I was like, well, I'm happy you're here because what you just explained to me, you know, it just took everything out of my mind of, well, I was thinking, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? How's this gonna go down? What do we, and he, and that's why he's the captain of the team. Greg loved when I improv I'm a free man. He relied a lot on myself and uh, Corey Feldman for, you know, well, I'm up for any suggestions. What's going on? Hit me with it. What's your, just, what do you have for a suggestion? Because I'm, you know, uh, I'm curious. You guys have been doing this for a while and you're doing great. And I want you guys to be comfortable doing what I'm wanting you to do, but mix it up. Don't worry about the noise, man. My parents are vampires. So he allowed us to really like kind of blend with his blend and then it kind of all took its own thing together. The scene where I'm taking my dad's car, he's got the diapers. When I'm going around the car and I'm jumping up and down, that wasn't in the script. Like a lot of stuff wasn't in the script. Yes! Um! He was very flexible, very friendly, very open and um, you know, he just had his vision of License to Drive. Hey, do you ever wonder what kind of car some of these babes would lose their virginity in? You never cease to amaze me, Dino. Remember, there was a party scene, and this is where Heather's breaking up with her dude, and she says... And, Paolo, if you're wondering about Saturday night, I just remembered. I already have a date. With who? With him. Party in there? I mean, it was a real party, man. They set it up perfectly, and extras came early, and so when we were there, it was like, you know, a lot of, you know, quiet on the, quiet on the set. I mean, it was, you know, they made it very realistic. It was great. Buckle up, son. It's the real world out here. When we started filming, I didn't have my license. I really didn't have a license to drive when we started filming this thing. And then there was the uh, DMV scenes coming up where I had to drive, so I had to do my test, do my written, drive, whatever, and I got my uh, my permit. See you on the battlefield sometime, soldier. <laughs> so we go back to set, and they let me do everything, even the parallel parking. That was me. And I was like, I can't believe I just did that. That was great. <laughs> We're at the hospital, she's in, and the big crane is above the car before it smashes it. I think something happened. I'm not sure, but I think something happened where it didn't work really the first time. You know, it wasn't fast enough or it came straight down instead of flat on the car. But when it happened, man, it was like, wow, that was cool. To see like a huge caddy just get flat. <laughs> only thing I didn't enjoy about the movie, I had a bad habit of keeping my mouth open all the time. So I was like, well, I'm so, what are you doing, catching flies? I did, I was, I was like, consistently, you know? And uh, that was the one thing I just wished I wouldn't have done as much, you know? Because every time I'm on camera, I'm either doing like a smile I used to have, which I've broken somehow, and you just keep my mouth open and catch flies looking like that. And I just, those are two things from me being picky on myself. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead, they're gonna have to bury me twice. It's a fast-paced, smart script. Where's my caddy? Lusted it! Great cast. Yeah, I had a little trouble with your car, too. <laughs> When I look back at making this movie, it, it, it uh, was just a hell of a lot of good hard work and a hell of a lot of fun to do. Yeah!